evening guys, welcome to Campus Waterfowl. This is the sixth season of the Collegiate Waterfowl Tour and we're starting it off here in University of North Dakota. This is the last week of early goose. We're going to be scouting mostly eastern North Dakota. Um, we got five guys, we're gonna be driving around putting tons of miles in the truck, so we're gonna get after it. Well, this is the 1998 Chevy Silverado. This is my scouting rig. She's a beaut. She's got about 114,000 on her right now. Probably get her up to 15,000 tomorrow. So, yeah, got my Vortex in here and we're ready to go. It's not the push start, it's all right. <laughs> oh yeah, she purrs. Listen to the old David Allen Coe, all the scouts. <laughs> Alrighty. Lots of ducks. So, uh, so it's Friday. We've uh, put a couple days into scouting so far this week. Um, I was out Wednesday night scouting for this weekend. Um, had a couple other guys out Thursday night scouting. Uh, usually a couple days, two or three days worth of scouting for, for one hunt on a weekend. This is the last week of our September uh, Canada season and duck season doesn't open for another week yet. Um, but it's always good to know where the birds are going to be and potential spots to hunt. Well, right now we're uh, we're looking to see if there's a physical posted sign on uh, on the guy's property, which it does not look like. So. With it not being posted, uh, North Dakota rules say that you can hunt a ground that's not posted. Um, so we'll probably end up giving this guy a call just as a courtesy to let him know. But uh, looks like a good spot for tomorrow. Potential. Potential. If you wanna, there's a lot of birds in this field. So we have a small group back behind us. There's a small group right here, straight across from us, and then there, the majority of the birds are on a crop edge, pushed back in the back side of this field, but it looks like this field, the majority of the birds are in a posted field, so we're gonna be looking to get permission. Uh, is, is this the field? Is this it? We got something? There's uh, there's two other birds in this field that's posted. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Yeah, Not what's happening? As well. Fields are not working out as we had hoped them to do and it's not good. It's not good. So the first field we went to was kind of our backup field and it had people in it. And then the second field we went to was not the cover or the crop that we wanted it to be. Uh, and this field's posted. And I guess we just didn't know about it. So seven, it? seven minutes till shooting light. It's 627 and shooting light is 635. Looks like we're going to this field. You want to point to the field? There you go. The field that, um, <laughs> so we got a posted sign right here, right? But we got the field over that doesn't have a posted sign. So we got them driving out there. We're gonna go check if there's a posted sign on that corner. If there's not, then we're just gonna hunt right next to them on the section line. Shooting lights in one minute, and we're still okay. well, on the road. That's fine. I mean, some, they're not getting up for another. 
they come late anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Dude, we can't even... It's... Like, the fog is unbelievably thick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't love it, but going in a hurry, I mean, I think the birds are over here. Uh, not really anything for wind, so try and just kind of little barricade them a little bit. Hopefully, got a little tail, a couple finishers, a couple sporadics. Hopefully, they kind of just come off this water over here and just dump in without really thinking too much since there's not much wind, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean... I think it looks good. I don't know. Trying to do with what we have here. I think it looks good. It should be pretty good. Never shot these mixed the mixed shells before. Oh so we'll see how that works. Thank you. Appreciate it. Spread. Just like I told him. Just like I told him. Hey, come back. One more spin. A, like, 20 miles square radius, just, like, area on Onyx, and just point your finger at it without looking at the phone, and I guarantee you shoot ducks. Yeah. That's how nuts it is out here right now. But you might only find 10 geese in that whole area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll shoot a goose, but you'll shoot a limit of ducks. They're about to get up. Yep. <laughs> You guys ready for a one wave? <laughs> hey, positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. Honest thoughts. No, actually, we're uh, we're just hunting traffic today. Watch the gun. Oh, oh, got one, got two. Two, two. Oh, got three, got four, got five. Bang, bang. Oh. Gavin, you got eyes on it? No. no. Yep, two. Two? No. No. You see him, Gav? Nope. Sounds him. high. Oh, right oh, in front. Oh, in front. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Woo! Oh, one went down back. See it, see it, see it? Another one going down in water. <laughs> Hey, that one's head up. Yep, head up. You got it? You got the head up? This fog might actually work out. Because they can't see us at all. They can't. And all we need them to do is just get that close. Yeah. There's more coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Triple take. They're gonna Don't land right there. Oh no. Nope. Oh, even a better go. shot. That one's too close to shoot. Oh, 
so too but I don't know they were a little far out I don't know so weren't really expecting to be here but uh did all right yeah yeah yep made out with a few birds had to kind of go on the fly and figure stuff out as we went and kind of just figured it out with the spread just kind of didn't really know exactly what we wanted to do and where the birds were coming from, but we had an idea and went with our gut and worked out okay. It was really foggy. Yeah, really dense fog this morning. Yeah, birds yeah. couldn't see us when they first got up. Yeah. Which, I mean, as I, these guys know, it helps and, and hurts you at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, fog, they can't see you, so they're kind of going off a of sound. So even if your spread doesn't look the great, look as great as it should. You know, as soon as they come out of that fog, they're they're just trying to get down. They're already low, but um, it does hurt you in the long run because there's a lot of birds flying around that won't see you or can't hear you as well because of that that fog cover. But um, I think we did all right for yeah. how bad it was. Yep. The bird the birds did it pretty good. The ones that did come in, we had a good hide. That's yeah. it's always helpful. Yeah. Um, spent a good amount of time making sure that looked good. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next time.